Hello friends. In this video we will be performing the two test to detect the presence of unsaturation in an organic compound. Organic compounds containing double bond or triple bond or both of them together are called unsaturated compounds. The two tests for detection of unsaturation are the bromine test and the Bayer's test. We'll start with the bromine test. We have test tubes marked A and B each containing a different organic compound dissolved in water. The third test tube is a control solution which contains pure water. We'll first take the test tube marked A. The reagent that we are using is aqueous bromine that is bromine vapors dissolved in water. You can clearly see that when aqueous bromine or bromine water is added to the test tube A, color of the bromine is discharged and the solution remains colorless. A small video clip shown as an inset on the left side of the screen shows the decolorization. This is a positive test because unsaturated organic compounds react with bromine forming vicinal dibromide. Now we take the test tube marked B and repeat the process. You can clearly see how the color of the bromine persists in test tube B. Now for the completion sake, we will add the bromine water to the control which has pure water in it. You will see the color remains as in test tube B. That is because bromine has not underwent any reaction with the organic compound in test tube B, indicating test tube A contains unsaturated compound and test tube B has saturated compound in it. The second test is the Bayer's test. It involves the use of Bayer's reagent. So what is Bayer's reagent? It is an aqueous solution of potassium permanganate containing an alkali like sodium hydroxide. Now similar to what we did in the first test, we will take some Bayer's reagent and add it to the test tube A. You can immediately see the purple color of the Bayer's reagent is decolorized and the solution turns cloudy brown in color. This indicates a positive test as the unsaturated organic compound got converted to vicinal glycol and the permanganate reduced itself to manganese dioxide which being insoluble in water stays as a turbid brown precipitate. You can see that the purple color of permanganate persists in test tube B which means there is no reaction in test tube B. And finally the control solution which has pure water Kept for completion sake shows the similar response as in test tube B, indicating that there is no reaction in test tube B. Therefore, the compound in test tube A is unsaturated and in test tube B you have saturated organic compound. So these were the two tests for detection of unsaturation in an organic compound. Hope you have enjoyed my video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me financially via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. So once again thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and click on the notification icon so that you will get notified regarding my future videos. Thank you.